So yeah, it looks like Adobe is about to straight up break the internet. How's it gonna affect you? Let's talk about it. So what exactly am I talking about? Well, all signs point to support for Flash ending this year, and it looks like that ending is gonna be a brutal ending indeed. So now this has actually been a really long time coming. So follow me for a second. We're gonna hop into our time machine and go back to 2010 when your friend and mine, Steve Jobs, wrote his thoughts on Flash. And basically in his thoughts on Flash, he said that no Flash would ever be allowed on any of the iPhones or any Apple mobile devices and he cited a couple of reasons for this he cited that it was poor performance for one and it lacked any kind of touch ability which is extremely important now we know that anyway and also because of some emerging technology that was coming just around the corner in like html5 so he kind of saw the writing on the wall itself and he preemptively said flash is going to be no more sooner or later and i know at the time it sounded really crazy i mean it sounded crazy to me because flash was used in so many different websites in so many different applications. But with the emergence of HTML5, Flash kind of had a eureka moment and realized that the writing was really on the wall and it needed to end support for Flash. So in 2017, they actually announced that they would begin ending support for Flash and the final year of that would be, you guessed it, this year, 2020. And now back in the present time, Adobe seems to be ending that very abruptly, a lot abruptly than I thought. They're actually going to be stopping complete authorization of downloads from Flash players. And they're not even saying that you can get third party players because they're saying those are not safe either. And they're even going as far as to block content running on your computer using Flash players. And they even issued kind of a formal warning. And I quote, customers should not use Flash player after EOL end of life date since it will not be supported by Adobe any longer. And now the benefit is that most of the big name browsers like Chrome, Firefox, or Windows Explorer already started phasing out the use of Flash Player in their browsers itself. The biggest issue seems to come with websites. At last check, there are a ton and I mean a ton of websites that still implement some form of Adobe Flash inside their websites itself for functionality purposes. One of the company's web technology surveys, they ran a site survey of about 10 million sites. And of the 10 million sites they surveyed, 260,000 of them still used Adobe Flash. That means 260,000 websites are gonna straight up not work properly when Adobe pulls the plug at the end of this year. Like I said at the beginning of the video, Adobe's about to straight up break the internet. Now think about that number for a moment, 260,000. What are the chances that one of those 260,000 sites is a site that you visit? It's pretty pretty good. The actual cool thing is that Adobe did put into place some tools that those website owners can use to migrate their sites over, but that time frame is really starting to shrink up. So if they haven't started migrating their sites already, it's a good bet that they're not going to migrate their sites or some of those sites are abandoned and just not properly maintained anymore. So they're just not going to work when that plug is pulled. So you can really see that there's a lot of uncertainty within websites going forward that use Adobe Flash, especially towards the end of this year, but there is definitely one thing for certain. It's going to be extremely interesting in the interwebs coming soon when Adobe pulls the plug on Adobe Flash. If you currently have it installed in your computer, my suggestion would definitely be to uninstall it because it's going to be useless pretty soon. You should stop using Adobe Flash right away. I pass the question on to you guys. Do you still use Adobe Flash Player at all in your system? Do you think any sites that you visit will be affected by the pulling of the plug at the end of this year? Go ahead and comment in the comment section down below the video. Also, if you need any kind of assistance getting Adobe Flash uninstalled from your PC or Mac, I've set up a Discord and I'm going to be posting some instructions on how you can get that done. The link is going to be in the description of this video so you can click and check that out as well if you need some instructions. And while you're down there, why not go ahead and hit that like button because it helps YouTube know that you enjoyed this video and that others may as well. And hitting that subscribe button lets me know you enjoyed this video with that bell for notification. That bell's actually pretty important because it's the only way you guys are going to know and release some cool, helpful content like this one. Until next time, guys, you can check out some of the other videos we've done. I'm going to post them there. And as always, make sure to stay safe. And until I see you next time, peace out.